my boy Sonic. Also, shoutouts to Kenny for the new plush. Okay, so first, we gotta speed right into it. So we gotta talk about the innate joy of just going for a ride, right? Like, there are people, there are car people who really like their cars. There are people who really like their motorcycles. Uh, people go, what is it, wakeboarding, snowboarding, surfing. The feeling of controlling something else other than yourself and having a heightened ability to move. And that's why it's great that Sonic is a hedgehog, right? He doesn't, he doesn't just have super speed. He has a unique quality to his movement that makes me really enjoy him. And I think many others enjoy him for that reason. But again, you know me, I like to start really zoomed out. So we're gonna kind of slowly zoom in to the specifics. And that's the first, I think, big reason why I really liked him at first, was there was something unique to kind of master in terms of this flowy movement. However, it's connected to his character too, right? This free flowing kind of desire that seems innate in humans because a lot of people, when you ask them what their favorite superpower is or what they wish they had, it's flight. And then if you spin it on them and go, what if you could go at a snail's pace when you fly? They'd be like, mm, okay, never mind. Because that's just slow jumping. <laughs> um, so there is, speed plays a factor. It's the freedom of movement, right? And Sonic is all about that. You can totally see it from this footage that you're seeing on screen that Sonic is all about that free flowing movement and letting you in on that experience too and getting you excited about stuff like that. So that, that I think is the first kind of layer that draws people in, but then it's also his character, right? Sonic's character is unique, right? Because it's really focused on his unique morality. Um, there are, this episode in particular, Sonic is at conflict with the government, which previously Sonic has not been, right? He's sometimes he helps them, sometimes he doesn't. And the story makes it very evident that it just so happens that there are times where their interests align. And that's making it really clear to draw strength from yourself, right? This story that we're seeing on screen right now is about Sonic taking this character on a journey that they have waited so long to go on that they would never be able to do and they aren't able to do on their own. And so Sonic is giving access, despite what people may think around him, giving access to that freedom that he has, which is literally what you do when you play a Sonic game. And there's so many examples of Sonic behaving this way and doing things this way. However, I wanna to touch on a little bit of something that I know is a can of worms, IDW Sonic, okay? So there are definitely certain pieces of media like IDW Sonic, and I enjoy IDW Sonic, okay? But there are definitely pieces of media that in that interpret Sonic differently, and I think there's reasons for this. So, in Sonic X, for example, since we're looking at it, but we're not about to in a second, but in Sonic X, I can see from the perspective of people who, especially people who kind of like jumped on the bandwagon of hating on Sonic at the time that you know Sonic X was running. Um, it's 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 weird from their perspective how the characters treat Sonic as this kind of like moral god, right? Like it's unusual from a Western perspective. It's not as us unusual from an Eastern perspective, but it also it made it even easier to pick on Sonic as a character, uh, and it didn't make it any better that marketing-wise, Sonic started by poking fun at everybody else. So, but however, that's what I truly like because we're gonna plug it back into this freedom thing again, right? Because Sonic is not only physically free in a way that we can't physically do, right? That, so that makes it in appealing for us to kind of enjoy in that way, but he's also mentally free. And the characters make that evident through the stories, mostly in Sonic X, but again, it's this kind of like, but he's not perfect, right? The idea is that even if you are mentally free, you will still, you still cause conflicts. Like it's, it's the way that the world works and Sonic is, content with the chaos. That's why they're called the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic's be able, able to harness them in a positive way, whereas other characters can't. It's their faith in Sonic and his love for the natural order of chaos and how he may do wrong, he may do right. It literally doesn't matter because what matters is the heart and trusting in each other. And that's where it gets a little bit generic, but it's how we get to that point that I think makes Sonic really distinct. And I think a lot of people falsely equate Super Sonic as this simple transformation. However, like in Sonic X, right, it became formulaic for a lot of the games to do this right. However, this is how what made Super Sonic distinct from Super Saiyan, right, is that Super Sonic can only exist because of the collective belief that they have in Sonic. That's where the power is coming from. It's not coming from nowhere. 
It's the thoughts that are all aligning with just being free because that is an innate desire. People just wanna be their own person, go their own way. And the reason that Sonic is treated that way is because it's that innate desire once again, right? And the reason that the Sonic Riders footage came on, but I didn't get re really to touch on it, is that it's the style, right? Now, this is a little less so true these days, right? Because, and you, I'll, t I'll do a whole video on the 3D models and stuff. But back in the day, Sonic wasn't bound by a style. Even though he was a global icon, he reinvented the wheels and did the whole green eyes and taller debacle, uh, which is not really, like for an, a character as iconic as Sonic, is risky to do. And I, it sucks, you know what? I had a whole section dedicated to the community, but you know what? It deserves a whole video, right? There's gotta be a whole video about why I love the community, but I'm overflowing with love for this character, what it represents, and not only that, but it's community. So we'll talk about it next time. Peace.